This video intends to show you how to amplify a track of your recording. So we saw in the last video that we have um, two tracks going on now. We've got introductory music and we have uh, speech going alongside. So we saw as well that the speech is a lot quieter than the music and you can see it quite clearly here that the amplitude of the wave, so how high it goes, uh, is a lot lower than the music. The music's a lot more prominent here. So what we want to do is go back to our selection tool and we want to select this entire track. It might be easier for you if you zoom out to do that, uh, but we've got it all selected now. And what we want to do is go to the effect and amplify option. Now there's a couple of things to explain in here. Firstly, the amplification uh, it's measured in decibels. It starts at zero, so a zero would be uh, there, and that would have no effect on the track. But it starts with you can see there that it started with uh, twelve, which makes the new peak amplitude zero. Now you don't really need to know what that means. Basically, what is happening there is audacity is figuring out that the highest it can push your audio to, the highest volume it can make your audio before it starts clipping the highest parts is here, is the 12. So let me show you what happens if we just click OK there. OK, so you see that the whole track has become louder, the waves become a little uh, bigger, and you can see that where um, the loudest part of the wave is, is here. Let's zoom in a little bit to have a look at that. So that is essentially what Audacity just did. It measured how hard it could push your audio, how loud it could make it before the loudest part of the track hit the top here. And the thing is, if it makes it go higher, if it makes it go louder than that, it starts to degrade the quality of recording. That's what's called clipping and that's when you start to get fuzzy noises that sound really harsh and really nasty in your ears. So essentially that shows that when you're recording something you want to try and keep the volume all very similar. So things like coughs, that makes a really loud part of the recording and that would stop you being able to amplify the whole thing. So you'd want to cut out any loud noises like that before you try to amplify. If I zoom back out again, I know that that is actually just normal speech because there was no coughs in this because this is the audio clip that we've already edited. So basically that's just a part of the recording that I spoke quite loudly so there's not much we can do about that at the moment without um, some much more advanced editing. So at the moment that'll do the job. To be honest though that will be uh, good enough. You can tell that if I move it back over with the time shift tool you can tell that if we zoom in, they're actually quite comparable now. The music looks a little bit louder, uh, possibly not louder than parts like this, but it looks pretty comparable and music's always going to be a little bit louder or seem a little bit louder anyway. So that's the amplifying. Just to show you if you wanted to push it a bit harder, if there was just one part of the recording like that, it looks like in this recording there is only that one section is a lot louder. It is possible to make it louder anyway and overcome uh, the audacity default. So let me select that again and let's go back to effect and amplify. Now it's already as loud as it can go so if I make it louder you can see that the OK button actually grays out so it won't let me do that because it's saying this is going to clip your audio it's going to make it really bad quality so you have to make a conscious choice to say allow clipping and that's what this box down here is for so if I click that if I make it say 20 and that's quite a big amplification let's click OK and you can see now that that is uh, very loud. All of the volume, uh, all of the clip, sorry, is uh, it's probably clipped now. And let's have an example of how that sounds. I go back and press play. So this is a voice recording, normal volume. 
and you can hear that that sounds terrible. It's very clipped, very crunchy, it's very uh, uh, very hissy, and that's what happens when you click it. Uh, when you clip it, sorry. Okay, so that's uh, a guide to the Amplify tool. Uh, I hope that you found that useful, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.